Hello, good evening. Myself uh, N.K. Oja and uh, right now working as an officer on special duty with the Maharaja Sahaji Rao University of Baroda. After a year, the university will be facing another NEC uh, accreditation. As per the NEC, green audit has become a mandatory part. And this time, our Honorable Vice Chancellor, Professor Parimal Vyas sir, has made a determination that we should go for A plus one. And to achieve this target, we need to complete the, all the exercise, all the submission for the NEC in 100% and in two. During this green audit, we came to know very, uh, we started collecting the data and to our surprise, even the data were not available with us. The same kind of data we came across such as uh, what is the water consumption of the campus. No one was aware of it. And while undertaking this green audit, we came to know that we are consuming 40 lakhs liter of water per day. We were not aware what was what is the total amount of energy we are consuming on the on the campus. What is the energy we are consuming for the outdoor, indoor, for our pumping stations? There was no calculations or no data available with us. So we have come to know that we are consuming around 4.5 lakhs units per month and we are paying 40 lakhs rupees to MGVCL towards our electric energy bills. Similarly, the university is spread over 272 acres of land and the building footprint is only 24 lakhs square feet. Whereas the total built up on the campus is 44 lakhs square feet. It is self-sufficient in energy consumption and this guest house can be operated, anyone can be comfortable in this, in this guest house even without operating air conditioners in the month of May or June. So in this uh, green auditing, we collected the entire data on the campus and now based on this data available with us for the energy consumption and the water consumption number of trees on the campus which is 3500 trees on the campus now we will be starting reducing our consumption in the field of water and the energy so that we can even our honorable vice chancellor uh, vyasar has stated that we want it to be a zero discharge and net zero campus this is his determination and we are and for making it net zero campus we need to first reduce our energy consumption on the campus based on the ecbc norms or the igbc norms and then only we can, we should divert our entire load on the green energy in the form of solar wind while it is not possible or the biogas so this is how we are moving towards uh, this uh, green auditing and one more interesting thing which we are doing on the campus is the green transportation we are motivating our students to go for the bicycling not to use the, this uh, uh, your own vehicles go for the public transportation and even if they are using the four wheelers or two wheelers it should be used in a pool so that the number of vehicles coming on the campus will reduce it will also reduce the CO2 emission on the campus. Even we have uh, declared our campus as a uh, uh, the single-use plastic-free campus. So this is how we are uh, uh, introducing ourselves as a eco-friendly campus in uh, Gujarat state. And ours is the first university to undertake this green audit in the Gujarat state. And this again is the first university in the Gujarat state to have taken this IGBC rating for our university guest house. Thank you very much.